Hello everybody. This is an astrological forecast for Virgo for July of 2012. This also applies if you have a Virgo ascendant. So my Virgos, the first thing to tell you is that your ruler Mercury goes retrograde this month on the 15th of the month until August 7th. What does this mean for you? Well, it's in your 12th house and as you know, it rules everything connected with communications, with travel, with technology. So with it being in your 12th house, you need to make sure that anything that needs to be hidden stays hidden. So if you need to protect the building that you live in, if you need to uh, protect passwords on your computer, if you need to protect your computer, if you need to protect somebody, this is all about protection and secrecy and re-evaluating what it is that you need to keep private. Even issues about privacy may well come up for you this month, Virgos. So for the first two weeks of the month, go ahead, sign contracts, get deals going, go for job interviews, launch a new project, schedule an important meeting for making a big decision, make sure you back up that hard drive before the retrograde, make sure you get anything repaired on machinery or tools or anything like that before this retrograde. Once it's retrograde, of course, Virgo, for you, you don't mind the retrograde so much, not quite so much as Geminis do, because um, Virgos are naturally a little bit more reflective, a little bit more discerning, with it being in your 12th house. Uh, it's time for some introspection, for re-evaluating your life. I mean, soon enough, it's going to be your birthdays. So this is time to re-evaluate this year. How do you feel you've done? I know you're the perfectionist of the Zodiac and you're always trying to get everything right, but really re-evaluate it honestly. Try not to be too negative. Give yourself the encouragement that you need as well as the things that you know where you can make some improvements. But it's important that you look at yourself um, from a balanced viewpoint and don't be too negative about aspects in your life because I know you're always striving for more and it's great Virgos that you're always trying to be better but sometimes in your fear of making mistakes you don't take enough risks and dare to do enough things with your life because you're always stuck in this wanting to be safe and not make a mistake. So what changes this month? Uh, we've got Mars changing sign, goes from your first to your second house. So Mars in the second house of finance, Virgos. This is the month where you need to put more energy into your finances, to drive ahead, to push forward, to not be so shy. Some of you are a little bit retiring and shy. Maybe you need to make some more phone calls, send out more CVs, make uh, more connections, be a little bit more social, really focus more on your finances and take action. Mars there is all about taking action. It's not about sitting and thinking about it too much. Now I'm aware we've got the retrograde. So two options here. One is there may be a completion of actions that you need to take that you've already been working on for a while during the retrograde, that would be fine. If not, I wouldn't say necessarily start something new, but plan those goals. And when the Mercury goes direct, then after the 7th of August, you're really ready to move forward with anything connected with finances. Um, we've got a square in the first week of the month between Jupiter and Neptune uh, from your 7th to your 10th houses. Be careful that you're not taken in by somebody, maybe somebody who's too good to be true, that just pulls you into their web, a web of illusion that you find, could even be a web of deception there. So just be aware of that in the first week of the month. Second, third week of the month, we've got Jupiter conjunct Venus in your 10th house. This is a wonderful time for you, um, uh, Virgos, for new opportunities with your career, for being recognized, for meeting somebody nice in the workplace, but and also for being charming, for being able to get more of what you want in work. Also a time to do more of the things that you love in your work area and also maybe to grow and expand in what you're already doing. So it could be a new direction, it could be some travel connected with work, it could be some international business that you do connected with work. All those things are possibilities with that Jupiter and Venus, Jupiter planet of good luck and Venus planet of love and ruling your finances and your relationships in that 10th house of career. Last week of the month, 
we've got an opposition between Uranus and Mars from your second to your eighth houses. So I'm going to say to you that maybe some disruption with your finances this month. So could be joint finances, could be issues with your partner or somebody that you rely on for money that maybe you can't rely on anymore. It's important that you take responsibility for your finances. Some of you have got very tight finances. You have to be very careful and live very frugally. But it's important that whatever you needed to have done, say regarding tax or insurance or authorities, that you've got that paperwork in order. Virgos, I can rely on you to get your paperwork in order. This really will be the month to do it, especially towards the end of the month. All month, we do have this square from Pluto to Uranus. So from your fifth to your eighth houses. So this is a time really, it's, it's a longer time period, but it's important for you to get aware of that creative spirit within you, the creative part within you that needs to express the things that you love, not to feel pushed down, controlled by all the must-dos, should-dos, ought-to. I know Virgos, you've got a lot of shoulds going. You're shoulding too much. Time to look at what do I really want and how can I take steps to manifest that in my life? Very powerful. You're probably going to have some awakenings in your financial arena of your life in one way or another. So there you have it. I wish you a great month. Thank you to those who get in touch and have readings. I'm always delighted to hear from you. And um, thank you if you give the thumbs up to this video and spread it around and Twitter it and Facebook and whatever. I do appreciate it. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.